Hey guys, welcome back to New Nine Golf where we talk about the hottest gear in golf. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite shoes, Jordans. Hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can see our next video. Let's check this out. All right, so maybe you've been invested in the sneaker game for the last 10, 15, 20, 30 years, or maybe you're pretty new to the sneaker game. Myself, I've been into sneakers maybe the last five years, and when I discovered Jordan's golf shoes, my mind was blown. I saw my first pair and I needed some ASAP. Um, obviously, so you can see I've since grown my pair from one to a bunch, but there's a reason why I buy all these Jordan golf shoes. I've had so many different pairs of golf shoes from Nikes, Adidas, and Echoes, and you name it, chances are I've had it. The reason why I like Jordan golf shoes is they're so unique and they look like runners, that I enjoy a runner looking golf shoe, a basketball shoe if you will, and that's what the Jordan golf brand is all about. So the Jordan shoe brand is obviously from the icon, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, as you know, is a huge golfer. Maybe you didn't know that. He's actually a single digit handicap. He also owns his own golf course called the Grove 23 in Florida. Believe it or not, a lot of PGA Tour members are a member at Michael Jordan's golf course. Now, like I said, these shoes are some of the most comfortable shoes out there and they come at kind of a premium price. Some of these shoes that you can see here are um, generic type Jordan shoes that you can get on the website that some might actually be on Nike.com. Others of these are a very limited release that you gotta be one of the first people to click on that link to buy them before they sell out. I'm gonna go kind of down the line, tell you my favorite Jordans and tell you some of the shoes maybe that didn't meet my expectations and why I think that they're an awesome golf shoe. If I had to wear one pair of these Jordans for the rest of my life, these guys right here, the Jordan Trainers. These were the very first Jordans that I found and they are by far my favorite golf shoe out of any Jordan, any brand shoe. These are by far my favorite. They fit very comfortable, it's a very sporty shoe and they haven't worn all that bad. I've had these shoes for about four years now, tons of rounds and they're still all in pretty good tact. What I find about the Jordan shoes is that they are really high quality, that they're not gonna rip by the seams, the sole's not gonna fall off, the uh, shoelaces aren't gonna fray, that these are a really good quality golf shoe. These were, like I said, were my first pair of Jordans that I got. Now, it, it was kind of a wild goose hunt to find a pair of Jordans that, thank God with the internet, there's a lot of different ways to get them now, but I found these on a buy and sell page on Facebook. If you don't already know, you can be a member of some golf pages like Golf Club Traders, for an example, it has over 115,000 members and you can buy and sell golf stuff. So I put in Jordan golf shoes in the search bar and this is what I found, the Jordan trainers. So like I said, by far my favorite golf shoe and that's how I bought them. Another way to buy these Jordan golf shoes is directly on the Nike website. Now, like I said, these are very limited shoes, so you gotta be up to date with when the releases are happening. If you find a shoe that's coming out and you see that there is a release, you can go on the Nike website, find out the time that they're gonna release. Chances are they're gonna sell out in the first five minutes. That's all with the exception with one shoe. These guys here are the Jordan ADG ones. They're since ADG twos, but these are the original. I got on the release and like all the other releases I was on right at 10 o'clock when they uh, were launched and you can still buy these today. Depending on the color, if they have white or black in stock, you can still get these on the Jordan or on the Nike website. A very good shoe. These are still one of my favorite shoes that I'm surprised that they haven't sold out. So I don't know what the logistics are behind it, but they made a lot more of these ADG golf shoes than other shoes. They're also a turf shoe, meaning that they don't have removable spikes. I'd love the option of having turf golf shoes because you don't have to remove the spikes. If you look at my other shoes I was just talking about, the trainers, the spikes are getting worn down that I'll eventually have to find some new spikes to change them. You're not gonna have that problem with the ADGs. I've worn these now for two full golf seasons, not these ones, these are my backups. I was lucky to get two pairs, but uh, they've worn very well, very comfortable shoe. Huge fan of the ADGs. They also did come in black. That's these guys here, ADG ones. I prefer these a lot much more over the ADG twos. Why that is? 
I have a fairly wide foot, so sometimes it's hard for me to find a shoe that's not too snug. And that's what I love about these ADGs and most of the Jordan Golf shoes, that the material that they use is a fairly um, loose leather, or what I mean by that is that it can stretch and kind of help mold to your foot. Sometimes they use the athletic type material, very similar to the trainers. What I don't like about the ADG 2s, I'll pull up a picture here, is that they were just a little bit narrow for me since I've sold them. That's why they're not here on my display. Okay, the first pair of Jordans I was lucky enough to get online at release were the Jordan 1s. Now this is one of the most classic, iconic sneakers in general, the Jordan 1. He released them in a golf shoe. I was so lucky to get these shoes at retail. I'm going to tell you another way how to get these types of shoes. If you like any of these shoes here, chances are you can find them on a sneaker buy or sell app or website like Goat or StockX. Basically what you can do is take a picture of your shoes, upload it onto this app, put a price onto it, and you can start selling your shoes. So check out some of those buy or sell websites if you're interested in getting shoes like these. Now these I got at retail, I'm thinking we're around 190, 200 bucks. Right now to buy this exact same shoe new in the box on one of those apps is around $650 US. So if you're new to the sneaker game, you'll know that a lot of these Jordans are very limited. That if you get them when they get released, you can either you know, wear them like I have been, or there's a lot of people that turn profit off of sneakers. So lucky to get the Jordan ones. These are unique because they actually change color. What I mean by that is as they wear, this leather turns silver. So these look a little weathered, but it's because of the sneaker. That's how they designed it to change a little bit uh, to the silver side. So I'm super happy with these ones. I wish I could get a couple other pairs. They also have them in white and the original Chicago Bulls red and white, but those are over a thousand bucks. I'm just not willing to spend a thousand bucks on shoes myself. Maybe you are jealous. Another quick funny story about the Jordan ones is, hey, these sneakers aren't for everyone. So I play with a lot of guys that are a little bit more conservative that uh, when I wear these around them, they call them my hiking boots. Funny for them, but I'm like, hey, these are cool shoes and I like them. So to each their own and screw you, Stu. All right. So it is the year 2020 and it seems the most popular shoe this year is the fives. This is the original five low that had come out. Again, these are my backup pair. I was lucky to get them online. I got one to wear and one for a couple years down the road when those wear out. They've released now a handful of these. You can see um, these are the most recent, the masters release. And then uh, these were I think around the US Open. So it's the same shoe, different color combinations. This is more of a wider shoe. If you got a pretty wide foot, these might be for you. Um, I got some friends who have a fairly narrow foot and they're not uh, super ideal for them, but I'm a huge fan of the five lows. All right, next up are the 11s. So these guys are actually not my shoe. They're actually the shoes of our producer, Felix. So he lent us this shoe for the video and you can see a very clean shoe that this is one of those shoes that uh, you could buy regularly through Jordans, obviously without the golf spikes, that a lot of people rock 11s on their day to day. They made this and a lot of sneaker heads went wild that they needed the 11s. I was not lucky enough to get them, but thanks to our producer, Felix, for lending me this pair. Now, Jordan does have a lot of PGA Tour athletes wearing their shoes. Uh, maybe they make it obvious and maybe they don't. There's guys like Pat Perez, Harold Varner, Keegan Bradley are all pretty big top name Jordan guys. But someone that actually recently that switched to Jordans is Bubba Watson. Bubba's a guy that is always changing around with different gear. He was with G4 a while ago and I've recently seen him rocking Jordans. So add him to the list of guys that are rocking their shoes. Okay guys, that's my rundown of the Jordan golf sneakers. So in my opinion, some of the coolest golf shoes out there, they're stylish and comfortable. It's a great combination to have on the golf course. Make sure you check out Facebook Marketplace, your local buy sell page like Kijiji, places like that, as well as Goat and StockX. And maybe you can find yourself a pair of Jordans. In the comments, I wanna know which ones were your favorite Jordans. Maybe they weren't on here. Tell me which Jordan golf shoes are your favorite. I'm interested to hear. Thanks so much for watching the New Nine Golf Channel. I really appreciate all of your support and we'll check in with you next time.